Hello, hello everybody. As you can see here, I'm about to defy death and climb up on a ladder to work on this tank. This is my 40 gallon orange neocaridinia shrimp tank. And as you can see, we got tons and tons and tons of babies. And in this video, I need to do a call calling on this tank. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm calling and do a little bit of explanation of orange neocaridinia shrimp genetics. So a lot of people, they know they need to take out the bad looking shrimp and certain lines you're looking for certain things and that can help because when these guys are really, really little, like many of the shrimp are in this tank, it's pretty hard to know exactly because baby neocaridinia, they get better and better with age and some of these shrimp in here are just little tiny specks. Now here in a little bit, you'll see just how many shrimp are in here. But I'm pretty excited about this tank. This tank had me worried. And now it's a baby shrimp bonanza. And I'm pretty excited. So let's get this project going. Okay, so here we are getting things started. The first thing I want to do is pull out this moss. I'm not doing anything with the moss here. I'm just putting it off to the side for a little bit so that we can get a better look at all these shrimp. Now I'll pull up that moss and just look at all the little tiny babies, hundreds and hundreds of little baby orange shrimp. So this tank makes me happy, seeing all these little baby shrimp. And, but what we need to do now, since we're having so many little babies and the population is exploding, we need to go through and get all the little baby shrimp out that are bad so they're not passing on their inferior genetics to their offspring. Okay, so now we got all that moss out of the way, and let's take a look at just how many orange shrimp are in here. Oh my god. And we're going to try to see what kind of bad ones we got, and I'll show you, I'll t explain to you why, what we're looking for here. There's one. I'll tell you guys what to look for in some of these shrimp lines. Let's see here. Look at all of them. I mean, they're so little. Some of them are. Some of them, the camera's not even picking up. They're so little. So, this tank is going to definitely be an ongoing project. There's still lots of buried ones, lots of saddled ones that are super awesome. And so now we're just going through with a fine tooth comb to find the bad ones. There's a red one, and I'll explain that now. Okay, so this is the Neo Caridinia family tree, and if you just take a close look over here all the way to the left, we got your snowballs and your blue pearls, they call them white pearls. Then we got our yellows and our green jades and our oranges and our reds, our black rose, our bloody marys, and so on and so forth. But for this video, we're talking about orange shrimp. So I'm going to zoom in on the orange shrimp part. Let's take a look. All right, so if we look over here on the right of the zoomed in part, we can see our wild red cherries, our secure reds, our fire reds, and our painted fire reds. So that just means your basic cherry shrimp. And as you can see, the orange shrimp are an offshoot, their mutation, I guess you could say, of the red. So that means, obviously, one of the main things they're going to be looking for are red shrimp. So Another thing that is hard to tell with these babies when they're still real little like this, and that is the little, the, the ones that end up being the best dark orange shrimp end up looking kind of red when they're little. So you got to give those some time to grow up. And then you can see there's some greens. The greens come from yellows and greens come from oranges. Now, these greens are really, really crappy green. They almost look like wilds, but I know that they are greens because I have some, my green jades throw shrimp that look like that. So now with those in mind and what we need to look for, we're looking for wild looking green shrimp and shrimp that look red. <laughs> because that is more than likely what these shrimp are gonna be throwing the bad ones because they're closely genetically related. So right now what's going on is I'm doing a time lapse and I threw out some algae wafers and this gets all the shrimp gathered up in one spot for the most part. It makes it a lot easier to find the good ones and the bad ones. And so this is what I like to do. Just to get a, 
you can see there's a, there's a lot of shrimp in here oh, and the great big female pluck that's been in here for years and years and years that great big female bristlenose plucko has been in here for a long long time and just so you know bristlenose pluckos are 100 percent shrimp safe now not all pluckos but ancestors bristlenose pluckos are just for i throw i throw that little info out there all right let's start hunting down some of these bad ones let's see here what do we got here we got a wild looking one and almost all the wild looking ones like i said earlier they end up looking like green the coals wild looking coals from my green jades so they have they're mostly wild but they have a little hint of green to them i'm also getting a few of the low quality oranges and some of the bigger ones that are clearly red like i explained earlier some of the you know some of the little ones that look kind of red they end up being your best ones when they grow up so you gotta wait till they get a little bit bigger till they're almost adults before you start pulling them for being red. So I'm looking for the wilds, the wild look, green looking ones and ones that are red. And of course, if there's any other oddball ones. Now, you can also get some reallys from your oranges, but I rarely, rarely, this one is really green looking. You'll, I'll show you guys that in the specimen container here in a little bit. <coughs> But there's one that almost was looking like a green jade. So you can tell for sure greens do come from, I've had yellows, which I don't have anymore. And they, I got green coals from them every once in a while. And with the oranges, I get green coals from them. So green jades definitely come from yellows and from oranges. And you can tell that from the, there's another one that's really dark green looking. I mean, not really dark green looking, but for shrimp in an orange sh shrimp tank. Okay, so here I try to get one that's kind of, a little one that's kind of red looking, but hard to tell. A lot of them, they look red on the substrate, but then you get them in the white shrimp net, and they actually end up looking orange. So that's why it's kind of like, eh, I don't know about this. So you want to make sure you're not getting rid of them too early because Neocaridinia We'll get better with age. So, you know, back in the tank of that one. He's not worth throwing away yet, I don't think. So, let's see here. See what we can find next. All right, I think, yeah, there we go. We got a wild one, I think. Uh, it's hard to get on film, like I said. I'm sitting on a ladder <laughs> with my head ducked down, trying not to hit it on the ceiling. Yep. There we go. Got that one out. Alright, what can we find here now? Let's see. Let's do a good scan here. What can we get next? Remember, we're looking for wild green looking ones. And ones that are big enough and still red to make sure they're going to stay red. And we don't want to throw out the good ones because... Some of the best ones end up looking kind of reddish orangish when they're little. And it's really hard to, because those end up being the darkest orange ones. See, there's a one that, that looked red. Then when you really get up close and examine it against the white, it is orange. So that's one of them borderline ones, because those, when, like I said, when they get big, those end up being the best ones. All right, so here are the ones we took out. And you can see them wild looking ones. They, I guess it's a stretch calling them green, but they are, the green jades do throw shrimp that look like that. So I call them green wild looking ones. And then you can tell we got some of the red ones. And a few of them in here are just really bad orange ones that I went ahead and pulled out. They're really, if they're orange, they end up being really pretty good for the most part. But you just get these red ones and you get these wild green looking ones so for the most part this line is really really good this line is doing a whole lot better than it was this line kind of got away from me for a little bit oranges were never really a big deal and then they started going like crazy i sold too many of them and now this tank is completely almost restarting over and i'm trying to get these guys to be the best they can be and i think we're off to a good start okay and here we are we got the tank all put back together 
the snails are coming out. Look at how big that ram swarm snail is. With a beautiful, beautiful buried mama on top, taking a dump. She's real pretty. And she's pooping. Oh, she's dropped an egg. Oh, don't drop the egg, sweetie. See, you see all kinds of wild stuff like this. And look at all. The moss is just kind of like in one big pile. I kind of stretched it out. There's another one loaded down with eggs. Look at the eggs on that one. Woo! Got so many eggs, I can barely carry them. And like I said, I've been saying all throughout this video, I will definitely have to come back and pick out the, the ones that end up being red for sure. Some of the lower quality orange ones when we get a little bit bigger, but 90% of these shrimp are just little tiny juveniles or just getting to the point of being able to breed. So I'm pretty excited about how this tank is going. We're gonna have lots and lots of shrimp. Now I've had orange shrimp sold out on the website for a while now and I'm waiting for this tank because this is the main tank I sell out of for orange. I have a couple other orange tanks. They're more project tanks. This is the one that's mainly to sell out of and as you can tell we're getting pretty good we're getting pretty dang good i'm pretty happy with it so if you guys enjoyed the video and learned a little something about orange shrimp genetics thank you guys for watching bye